OK, uh, welcome to this week's lecture. Uh, so this week, uh, we will talk about the social network analysis. So right now, Tableau does not support social network analysis and also visualization. And so this week, and we will use another uh, software that is called Gaffy uh, to do some very simple um, social network analysis and also visualization. Uh, so before I start, um, I want to recommend um, this book. So that is uh, free online and you can read the book uh, from this URL. So that is called Introduction to Social Network Methods. Uh, so this is a very simple um, textbook that introduces the basic um, concepts and also the measures uh, that in social network. And a lot of slides that the content set in these lectures are borrowed from this uh, uh, textbook. All right, so uh, what is network and also why it is important? So network are just a set of nodes that are connected by those edges. OK, so here we see those are the nodes OK, and connected by those edges. And the network can be used to represent some um, objects uh, in the real world. OK, so for example, we can use that to represent a node network. In this case, those are different cities like Harrisonburg, Shatville, uh, um, Richmond, etc. And those edges will be the the road, okay, and also can also be other network like a flight network, etc. Uh, it can also be used to represent the social network. So where uh, normally uh, in the social network we use node to represent person, okay, like uh, different people, and also we use those edges to represent their connections, so their relationship, okay. So that will be the social network. OK, and also we can use that to represent any other type of the network, like the power grids, etc. OK, and um, basically they are normally uh, depending on the type of those edges. So we have two types of the network. OK, uh, so whether or not there is a direction in those edges, so the network can be on direct network all can be direct network so for those on direct network so that means the relationship there's no directions in those relationships so both nodes on the uh, on the the nodes on the both sides of the network uh, have the same uh, symmetric relationship so for example uh, a and b they like each other they are siblings so all they are co-authors of a book so those are some examples of those undirected network. OK, so there is a, a no uh, direction that in those edges. And sometimes uh, the relationships, there is a direction. So for example, um, A likes B, OK? A likes B, but B, B does not like A. OK, so that is a direct network. Or A gave a gift to B. Or for example, A is B's child. Okay, so in that case, uh, the relationship is not symmetric. Okay, so that is we will use a direct network to represent such type of the relationship. Okay, uh, so how can we organize the data in uh, uh, for the network data? So this will be a tricky part. So for example, here we have those uh, five nodes, and this is a direct network. OK, so there are multiple ways that we can store the data of the network data. So first, we can use those edge list. OK, so for example, we have edge between two and three. OK, so we have that one into a, a from, OK, from node and also two node. OK, so two and three, OK, and three and two, OK, and two and four. So something like that. OK, and we can store such type of the edge list in the relational database. Or we can use this adjacency list. OK, so that uh, for each node, we just record their connected 
neighbors. Okay, so for node one, we don't have any connecting neighbors. Again, remember that this is a directed, so five can reach one, but one cannot reach five. Okay, uh, for node two, node two can reach three and also four. Okay, and node three can reach node two and four. Okay, so for such type of the data uh, structure, so we cannot use all use relational database or at least a relational database is not recommended because that we we cannot uh, see that okay so how many uh, neighbors each node has so that we cannot maintain a structured table or another common way is that we can represent uh, the, the network by using a matrix okay so here that is how we can use matrix so we use for the node we put all the nodes into columns and also rows okay so if there is a connection between those nodes and we are mark one okay so for example there's a direction there is a connection between two to three so we use one and there's also a direction between three to two okay so we also put that as one and there's no uh connections between one and two so one two which is zero two one is also zero okay so that is using matrix and using matrix is also uh, very important uh, so especially that uh, if we want to use a linear algebra okay and the matrix is very powerful to make very quick calculations uh, so if you are going to take the intro to machine learning and also AI classes uh, in the next semester. So we will use that. We will know that a lot of machine learning models, they are using those matrix. All right. Okay, so let's go back to our um, type of the different type of the relational database and also non relational database. So we know that for relational database, all their data are organized as tables. Okay, and we know that for network data, so if we, we choose add each list, uh, we can use relational database. However, that is not the most uh, sufficient way to store the network data. And so that's why we have the other type of the uh, databases like key value pairs, okay, column stores, which is used for the, uh, for example, the data warehouse, use the column stores, the red shift. Uh, and graph stores. Okay, so here I just want to remind you that we, we did introduce there is a graph stores, which is the one type of non-SQL database that is perfect to store the network data. Okay, so but we are not going to use graph stores in this class, but just let you know that uh, a more efficient way to store the network data is using the graph stores because that also support uh, uh, analyzing the network data. Okay, and also multimodal database and also document stores.